Right, so this video here is on how to determine the weight of an object. Uh, you'll remember when we have a cube that is one meter uh, cubic in capacity, so it's one meter by one meter by one meter, uh, that has in that in that meter cubed. Uh, it equals a thousand liters. So, you know, the size for the working out the literage that is a hundred millimeters by a hundred millimeters high and a hundred millimeters deep. That fits into a meter ten times across there, ten times across there, and ten times across there. So, ten times ten times ten equals one thousand. So inside that cube, one meter cubic, uh, let's say it's a box or a tank, one meter cube, it has a thousand liters in it. Now, if we come over to here to this chart, I've got a specific gravity chart here. Down the left hand side, I've got some different materials. I've got aluminium, brass, bronze, cast iron, all the way through to zinc. Now the specific gravity uh, for water down the bottom here is one and there's 1,000 litres in that tank. So up here, kilograms per metre cubed. If I work out that there's 1,000 litres in there, I times it by the specific gravity. I'll just put SG. Uh, so 1,000 times one equals 1,000 kilograms. So this was the uh, effectively the literage capacity times it by one because that's the specific gravity of water means that there's 1,000 kilograms in that uh, tank there. So let's say that we have another tank. Just draw it here. We're going to say that it's uh, 360 millimetres by 420 millimetres by a depth of what? Uh, 835 millimetres. So remember when we want to work out the metres cubed, and that's what we want to do first, it is comprised of the height times the depth times the width. The height is 420 millimetres. Now remember to put it into the equation in metres. So 420 divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.42 times. Uh, the depth is 835, so 835 divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.835 and the width is 360 convert that to meters you get 0 0.36 and it's going to give us an answer in meters cubed so just putting the calculator back on here i'm just going to change my light slightly so what did i say it's 0 0.42 times 0 0.8 times 0.36 and that gives us on the screen there you can see it a meters cubed of actually I won't put the equal sign there sorry what was it 0 0.126 uh, and we'll go to three we'll say say four decimal places so meters cubed is that equals 0 0.1263 I did write that down and then if we want to do the specific gravity let's say we want to make that um, cube that we've got there let's say it's a block of aluminium and you're trying to work out the weight of it to stick it on the back of a truck so if we look up the top of the chart aluminium's on the first line it has a specific gravity of 2.7 uh, and meters, uh, kilograms in meters cubed, well it's 2,700 kilograms for a meter cubed. So what we had to do at that point was times it by 1,000. So if we do that, uh, we're going to have a capacity of 126.3, and we're going to times that by the specific gravity of 2.7, 2.7, and this is going to give us the weight in kilograms. 
So on the calculator, putting it back on the screen, timesing it by 1000 equals, and then we times it by 2.6, and it gives us a weight of 340. We'll go to the two decimal places, 0.88 kilograms. So if it was water with a specific gravity of one, that tank would weigh 126.3 kilograms. But aluminium is 2.7 2, uh, 2. Uh, times the weight of water uh, on Earth. So we times the 126.3 by 2.7 and that gives us a weight of 340.88. We'll do another one. We'll say it's a sheet of metal. You want to know whether you can lift this sheet of metal. It's just a, a abstract uh, thing. Let's say that the sheet is 915 millimetres wide and it's the full width of a sheet, so um, 1,221 millimetres and it's going to be 6 millimetres thick. So we want to know what the weight of that sheet is. So we have to work out the um, cubic capacity of the sheet for a start. And as I said, it's metres cubed. Am I writing on the board? I am. And that, in this case, uh, well, it's the width times the depth times the height. And I want to convert all those to metres again. So we divide the 915 by 1,000, the 1,221 by 1,000, and the 6 by 1,000, and they are the numbers that we're putting into the equation. So metres cubed equals um, the width, 0 0.915 times, uh, what have we got, the depth, 1.221 times the thickness, 6 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.006, and in this one, we're going to say that this sheet is uh, steel, a sheet of, um, we'll say it's stainless steel. Stainless steel has a relative or a specific gravity of 7.7, .7, which means on the right hand side of the chart, a cubic metre of stainless steel would weigh 7,700 kilograms. So at that point, we work out the cubic metres, and we can then times that by 1,000, and then we times it by the specific gravity, and that's going to give us. So these three times by each other will give us metres cubed to this point. We then times it by 1,000, and then we times it by 7.7, .7, which is the specific gravity. So you can actually do the whole thing in one process. Put the calculator back on the board, get the light adjusted. So what have we got? We've got uh, 0 0.915 times... 1.221 times the thickness of 6 millimetres, which is 0 0.006. Uh, we times that by 1,000 because that would be the literage in a, a tank, a cubic metre square, and we're, we're working out a portion of that. And then we times it by 7.7, .7, and we get a weight there of 51. 0.61 kilograms. So we can work out, depending on what it is, it could be a tank like this, which was going to have, uh, what did I say, that was going to be made out of a solid block of aluminium. You want to work out whether the truck can carry it. So we worked out the kilograms and found it was 340 kilograms. And then I've got a thin sheet of material, only 6 mil feet uh, thick. And I've done my calculation and I can work the weight out there. You can use this for anything. It could be a shaft, it could be a tank, it could be anything. So if you work out the cubic volume of the tank and times it by the 1,000, it gives you the literage. And then if you times it by the specific gravity of a chart, you can then determine what the kilograms uh, weight is. So I've said in all my videos, try and enter your data into your calculations in metres. And that's going to make it so much easier to apply the specific gravity to it to determine your kilograms. So a video there, how to determine the weight of an object. See how you go with it. Leave it there, thank you.